Hello, and welcome to Lara Trait's English Masterclass. Now, today we're going to be analyzing a poem written by a famous poet, one whom you might be familiar with. And then second, we're going to see if we can write our own poems inspired by the one we read today. First things first, on your screen, you're going to see four pictures. I would like you to write down on a piece of paper what comes to mind when you see these four pictures. I'll give you a few seconds to have a think about it. That should have been enough time to have a think about it. Now let's reveal where all of these pictures have actually been taken from. Did it surprise you that each of these pictures were taking place in London? Some of you may have recognised some of the areas, in particular the bus and a few other typically London settings. But yes, all these pictures were taking place in London. I want you to imagine that you have a friend that is visiting London for the very first time and they ask you a very interesting question. The question that this friend asks you is, how would you describe your London in three words. Slightly tricky question, but I want you to think about and write down three words to describe your London. It's completely down to you, but remember, let's use our ambitious vocabulary so that we can test our skills, okay? So a few seconds to have a think about how you would describe your London. I'm sure you've all written very interesting words to describe your London, but let's move on to the next activity. And remember, we're going to use all of these skills and these pictures to help inspire us to write our own poem. On the screen, you should see a list of facts and statements, and I want you to see if you can match up the fact to the right statement. Okay, so I want you to see if you can complete the sentences. Each of these facts are real and they are facts about London. Okay, now you might have guessed it, but we're going to be reading the poem by William Blake titled London. Now, can you believe that this was written in 1794? Well, let's have a look at his thoughts of London and how he described his London in 1794. I wander through each chartered street near where the charter Thames does flow. And mark in every face I meet, marks of weakness, marks of woe. In every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every ban, the mind-forged manacles I hear. How the chimney sweepers cry, every blackening church appalls, and the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down the palace walls. But most through midnight streets I hear, how the youthful harlots curse, blast the newborn infant's tear, and blights with plagues the marriage hers. It's quite an interesting poem and there's quite a few language techniques that I'm sure you would have been able to pick out from that. But in a sentence or two, I want you to write down, how do you think William Blake describes London? What does he think of London? How does he imagine his London to be? Now that you've written down some ideas, I want you to channel your mind to thinking that you are William Blake and you're walking through the streets of London in 1794. There's a video attached to this lesson and I want you to watch it and I want you to write down what you can hear, what you can see and think about words to describe what you could possibly smell. Now that will require some imagination as of course you're not there, but just think about maybe some of the sounds that you hear. Could you attach a smell to that sound? For the final exercise, once you've watched the video and you've written down some words to describe what you can see in here, I want you to describe a journey walking through the dirty, dangerous streets of London, okay? So I want you to write your own poem of a journey walking through the streets of London. And I want you to use some of the things that you see, hear, and possibly smell in the video. Well, now that you've channeled your inner William Blake and you've written your own poems, have a read through the poem, maybe read it to a friend or a family member, see what they think, and see if they can come up with their own poem to describe their thoughts of London. Well, it's been a great time with you guys, and this has been Lara Trade's English Masterclass.